If you're planning a trip to Tbilisi, Georgia, then in this video, I have everything that you need to know before you come to this underrated travel destination. It's like a string. I'll cover everything from the best area to stay at, the best time to visit, and best things to do so you'll get the best experience while you're visiting Tbilisi. So when you're planning your travel, the first thing that you want to consider is the best time to visit. From May till October is the best time to visit Georgia because it's summer here and summer here is actually very enjoyable, it's sunny and it's also very breezy. I'm currently here in Tbilisi in July and the weather has been perfect. It's sunny most of the time, the sky is clear, you do have rain here or there but usually the rain won't last for a very long time. The temperature goes between 25 until 29 degrees Celsius and the hottest that I've experienced here during the summer is around 30 to 31 degrees Celsius. If you're coming in October, then you can also join a festival here called Tbilisi Soba or technically it's Tbilisi birthday. But despite of that, visiting the country during winter is also a good idea because the area like Kaspegi is also perfect if you wanna experience winter here. You can go to see the Kauskasis mountain or go skiing. Now let's talk about accommodation here in Tbilisi. There are two areas that's popular in Tbilisi. The first one is called Old Tbilisi. This is basically where you'll see most of the tourist attraction like Mother of Georgia, Narikala Fortress, or try the famous sulfur bath. Basically, this is more of the touristy area, so it's packed with some touristy activities. If you only want to visit for a short-term period, then staying in this area might be more convenient because everything is within a walking distance. But you need to keep in mind because it's a more touristy area, it's also busier, and a lot of shops and also stalls there also charge more of a tourist price. Sometimes it can be two or three times more expensive than the original price. Now moving on to the other area, this is basically the new district of Tbilisi. So the popular area to live here or where expats usually live in this district is called Thake, Fera or Saburtalo. Saburtalo is more modern with a lot more skyscraper. I personally prefer Vake area because it's only 10 minutes away from Old Tbilisi and it's also very convenient here. You have the gym that you can walk to, you have the grocery store and also this area is not too busy. So this is more of the residential area. When booking your accommodation, you can go to booking.com or Airbnb. I personally use Airbnb because I booked for a month here in Tbilisi. But one unique thing that I noticed after moving here is instead of just booking from the app, a lot of your neighbor here in the city usually will offer you a place that you can rent from. Um, We've been here for like a couple weeks and we have around two people already like asking if we need a place that we want to rent. So I also heard that's a very common way to rent a place here. Obviously, you want to look into that if you're planning to stay in Tbilisi long term. So I would suggest that you book your accommodation from Airbnb or Booking.com first. And when you moved here, you can start looking around. I have a separate video about a more detailed of cost of living in Tbilisi. This is where I break down all the monthly expenses that you can expect when you're coming to the city. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel. One very useful app when you're coming to Tbilisi is Bolt. Basically with Bolt, you can book your transportation like taxi and you can book it directly from your phone and you'll get to see how much it costs immediately. You want to pay attention when you first got to the airport here in Tbilisi because mostly the taxi at the airport, they will try to charge you a lot to get from the airport to the city. Sometimes they will try to charge you around 100 or even 200 lari well you can easily book everything from bolt and usually it costs around 25 to 35 lari from the airport to the city another way of transportation here is by taking the metro so when you come to Tbilisi you can also go to the metro station to purchase a cart basically with this cart you can use it for most of the public transport system like the metro and also the bus and it's also very affordable because they only charge one lorry no matter where your stop is. 
Now, some people also rent a car here, but I personally wouldn't suggest it. Road here is also very steep. There's a lot of like ups and downs. If you're not a local, then I wouldn't suggest to drive a car here. I think it's a lot safer to just take the metro or use boat. People usually say that the traffic in Southeast Asia or like how people drive in Southeast Asia is very hectic and it's very chaotic. But honestly, um, after been living here, I think the way people drive in Tbilisi is more chaotic. Now, in terms of the payment here, you can easily use your credit card. Most places, they accept credit card. Or if you have to withdraw cash, I would highly suggest to find a Bank of Georgia ATM. With this ATM, they usually charge 3 lari for its withdrawal. And most of the ATM here, they charge 5 lari. Just take out some Georgian lorry and it's so unique because usually when you withdraw money from the ATM they give you like one type of check but here they give you different nominal at once. Now let's get into a more fun part which is like things that you can do in Tbilisi. Obviously if you're here you definitely want to check out Old Tbilisi. It's such a beautiful area. It's like a good combination of the old architecture, the nature. When you're in Tbilisi you're just gonna notice that they have a lot of like graffiti on the wall. So if you're traveling by yourself and you want to stay in a hostel with a good environment, I think this is a really great area. It's definitely a really cool space that you need to check out if you're in Tbilisi. So I heard like all this building was a Soviet um, sewing factory before and then they turned it into like this hub. They have like some restaurants outside um, and then inside it's a hostel with a co-working spot. While in Tbilisi, you also want to make sure you try some Georgian food. Some of my favorite are definitely Kinkali and Ajarian Kachapuri. And Georgia is also the country that invented wine. So if you're a wine lover, you definitely should take a wine tour where you're in Georgia. So I finally found wine ice cream. Looks like blueberry ice cream mm. okay it's pretty unique like you can kind of taste the wine a bit <laughs> it's like fermented ice cream yeah it's like taro ice cream taro ice cream Mm. It's good though. And while in Tbilisi, you can also take some short trip to Kakeri region or Kaspegi. Kakeri is the wine region of Georgia. So a lot of people go there to try the wine tasting, but the view is also very beautiful. And you can also take a day trip to Kaspegi. This trip, you'll be able to see the beauty of Georgia. Like it definitely has the best nature. So you definitely don't want to miss it out. Before or during your trip, you also want to make sure that you have your travel health insurance if you want to see the travel health insurance that I recommend you can check it in the description box below and if you're wondering how I can travel around while working online you definitely want to check out course careers in course careers you can learn a lot of skills that you can do remotely so you can travel while making money online here you have the expert who taught you everything that you need to know and they also help you prepare for your interviews to make sure that you land your desired job so if you decided to check out course career i have a discount code that you can check out down below with my code you'll get 50 dollars off for your course purchase but that's it for this video i hope you find it useful and i hope you have fun planning your trip to tbilisi georgia this is definitely one of the most underrated travel destination and you'll be surprised when you come here so that's it for today and i'll see you on my next one bye